Good evening, good evening everyone and welcome to the 2011 graduation at Pleasant yeah. Valley High School. We're now going to do the Pledge of Allegiance. Please salute the pledge. I thought about Pleasant Valley, the teachers, the class of 2011, and the memories made, and I realized that my class was a force to be reckoned with. Most groups of graduating seniors are lucky to have an individual who is exceptional. Sabrina Elizabeth Conchandani. My name is Sabrina Elizabeth Conchandani. A very long name for a very short girl. <laughs> it's ironic how those kind of things work out, isn't it? You may also be thinking it's ironic that I'm here representing the class of 2011. Because I'm not the smartest, nor most involved, nor most athletic person of our class. I'm just your average high school student speaking on, the, speaking on behalf of the majority of average students out there. I feel like at every graduation, you kind of hear that same cliche speech reach for the stars, or even better, we, the class of 2011, are the future. Although those are inspiring words, I'd rather take a few moments to speak of and reflect upon some of the amazing and maybe not so amazing times that most of us have experienced our past four years of high school. Do you guys remember the first day of freshman year? Or even better, freshman orientation? For me, that's something I wouldn't want to go back to. That feeling of being at the very bottom of the school, knowing we have four years here and hoping for the best of them. Do you remember not being able to find your classes? Or even better, walking into the wrong classes? We were nervous, young, and worst of all, we had to walk to lunch. <laughs> Compare that feeling of your first day of freshman year to your first day of senior year. We are so excited to finally park in senior parking, hang out in the quad, and rep our senior t-shirts. We felt on top of the world, or at least on top of the school. Isn't it crazy how our roles changed so drastically in just three years? I mean, don't get me wrong, they were eventful years, filled with twerps, proms, rallies, spirit weeks, classes, and one thing we will absolutely never forget destroying Chico High, 32 to zero in our last Almond Bowl. <laughs> it's actually kind of interesting if you think about it. High school is a lot like the real world. We have to start at the bottom of the totem pole and work our way up. We may feel on top of the world right now, which is an absolutely amazing feeling, but in just a few months, we are all about to start new chapters in our lives. We will be entering the real world. Whether we choose to go to college, straight to the military, or straight to the workforce, we will once again be at the bottom of the totem pole. And once again, we will be trying to work our way up. When you're at the bottom, remember, it's the little steps that get you to the top. And remember the amazing feeling you have once you have reached the top. Don't forget to enjoy the journey, though. Part of what makes this feeling so great is knowing that we have achieved so much and all the memories and experiences we have had makes us who we are today. We have all made it from freshmen to seniors. Better yet, from kindergarten to seniors. Congratulations, class of 2011. We have reached the top of this portion in our lives. Thank you. 